Hello, this is Rebecca Rhodes. In this video, you'll see an accelerated version of how to paint this white retriever in watercolor. To see these lessons in real time, I invite you to visit our online school, where you can learn to paint this and other pets and wildlife in watercolor. Let's get started. First, we'll focus on the eye and the nose. This will create the personality of the subject from the very beginning. Layer by layer, we'll go darker in value, creating the browns, grays, and blacks of the eye. We'll follow the same process in the nose, applying thin layers of color and slowly going darker. First, a layer of pink. Next, we'll build the grays and blacks. In our online school, you'll learn how to create the grays and blacks and pinks on your palette as you watch this entire process in real time. And another glaze of pink to unify everything. Next, we'll move to the mouth, first creating a pale map of colors that will serve as a guide. We'll reinforce the dark values. and then the mid-tones, slowly going darker and at the same time creating the impression of contour and curve. Because watercolor is transparent, you can see the previous colors shining through each layer. Now I'm laying in textures, all the while reinforcing darker values where needed. We'll return to the mouth for further refinements, but next, I'll move to the fur. I'll begin with what will be the darkest fur and textures. Getting these darker values in place first will serve as a guide in creating the lightest fur. This is pale gray in the corner, and then I'll create tiny pale hairs. These are the beginnings of the eyelashes. I'll return to this area around the nose to make refinements in the fur. And now for the lightest hairs. They're so pale they can hardly be seen. In this step, we're creating a pale map of the fur. I'm being aware of the length and the curve of the hairs. This will help to create contour and bone structure and serve as a guide as we go darker. Here I'm using plain water and a larger brush to slightly smooth the fur. The first pale layer of fur is in place, providing a map to follow as we refine color and value. Next, I'll reinforce the darker parts, starting with the ear, using thin layers of color to slowly adjust values. And now I'll look for areas in the ear that could go even darker, applying pale glazes to adjust the color. Moving to the face, I'll continue to make refinements in color and value. Going just a bit darker helps to create shadow and bone structure. Returning to the ear, I'll make refinements to values or textures that may appear unbalanced or need to go a little darker. I'll do the same kind of thing in the face. And now I'll move to the neck, making the same kinds of refinements just like what we had done in the ear. 
first. I'm applying another layer of fur anywhere that I'd like to see a bit more texture. These are glazes that will further refine color and value in larger areas. When we use thin layers of color, we can slowly go darker while retaining the whiteness of this dog. And now final refinements are being made everywhere, going darker where needed to enhance shadow, contour, and bone structure, and smoothing textures with thin layers of color or water. Make final refinements to textures and values in the nose and mouth. And finally, we'll apply whiskers. And there it is. This white retriever is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video and I invite you to visit our online school where you can learn to paint this and all kinds of realistic pets and animals in watercolor. Thanks for watching.